Okay, y'all, I am back. It's time to do a little dinner. I got some ribs. What I did with them first was wash them. And you know you have to take this membrane. Got to pull that membrane off. That right there, that's tough. So we got that off. Back of both of them. Don't have a lot, just one slab that I had put in the freezer, out the freezer. So it's time to cook them now. So what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do different I'm going to base them with some of uh, my chicken bouillon seasoning. Then I'm going to season them up with some everything with the kitchen sink. And then I'm going to throw them in my wok and stir fry them in my wok with some uh, truffle oil. So that's going to be a little bit of a twist on there, give it a little bit different taste. And then I'm going to put some um, barbecue sauce on. Not a thick, heavy, but a thin vinegar based barbecue sauce is what I'm going to put on them. And uh, hopefully when we bite into them, they'll be falling off the rib. Now, these are, these are not baby back ribs. I don't think they are anyway. I think these are just regular ribs, but they're nice and thick and meaty. So, we're going to cook them for about a couple hours. I'm going to go ahead and cut them, use my meat scissors. And like I always say, whenever I use these, invest in a set of meat scissors because I'm telling you, they come in so handy like right now. So... Anywho, I'm just going to go ahead and cut them like so. You know, this might be baby back ribs. I don't think it said that on the package. Anyway, this is just the pack I had laying in the freezer. And I took them out and didn't cook them. They're nice and meaty, y'all. Okay, so when you see these again, they'll be ready to uh, go ahead and season. Um, I, you can let these, preferably marinate them overnight. Let that flavor go through them. Uh, like I'm going to do today, I'm just going to season them and rub them down real good. I'm going to do what you call that hand rub on them. So hold on, I'll be right back. Okay, it is time to get these ribs seasoned so we can get them in the pan. So I've got my chicken bouillon, and I'm just going to rub them. Make sure I get it rubbed all over. I rub a dub dub. Ribs in the tub, y'all. Not a whole lot, but just enough to get that seasoning on them. And then... I gotta put my dry, that's my wet seasoning that I just rubbed on. Now I'm gonna go ahead and get my dry seasoning on there. I'm gonna rub it in really, really good. Keep that truffle all up in that skillet and uh, get it going. Okay, so this is my everything but the kitchen sink seasoning. I know, just in that, what that is, is when you grab everything out the cabinet. It's, Pour it in a jar, mix it all together, and that way you don't have to put it on one by one. You just put it on like so. Not a lot of salt in there at all. You don't have to worry about over salting them. And then we're going to finish them off with that, with the real light barbecue seasoning. It takes about an hour and a half to cook these. Okay. Just make sure you rub them down real good, get that seasoning off them. Because one thing, I'm not going to let them marinate long. They're going to go right in the pan. Just a little, 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 little bit more. And we're done. We're done. Okay. Let's just get these. Here. Put these right over here. Okay, all done. Over to the pan.
Okay, I'm going to use my black truffle oil to about, a, about three tablespoons full. If I just want to braise these up real good and get them in, I think I'm probably going to end up putting them, finish them off in the oven. Okay, so I'm just going to start. I think, excuse me. Yeah, just, just, I'm going to do it just like that. We're just going to move them around in there. Get that oil on them real good. All right, so. And that's for us about five minutes on the turn them over. Just brown them up a little bit. And then I'll put my, probably put my, um, barbecue sauce on there. This, I'm going to be using, I'll show you, it's called George's. It's, it's like a thin, um, barbecue sauce. It's not like a sweet baby raised a thick, heavy one. It's on a real thin, light one on there. You get that heat up high. I don't want a lot of juice coming up in there. Probably going to get some, but if so, we'll just fry it out. Okay. Oh, that truffle oil is out of this world, y'all. I tell y'all, one of my dear, dear girls, one of my adopted daughters gave me that truffle oil gift set for Christmas. I'm so excited. I get excited about truffle oil, y'all. It smells, I wish you could smell what it smells. I wish y'all had smell that vision. If it smells what it smells like. Truffle oil is just wonderful. It's almost like <coughs> olive oil in a way, but it has another kind of oil. Whew, it's, it's very aromatic to me. And it, just, it just clutches your senses and just makes you think that you're in some exotic place getting ready to eat this real exotic food. Okay, got a few more. I'm going to fit those right in here. They're going to fit. Oh, yes, they are. Get it in the oil. I'm gonna have to pour a little bit more oil on the pan. I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. You see, I didn't have to use very much of it. I use this oil very sparingly, y'all. That should do it. Because it's, it's uh, very pungent and it's very it's kind of, it's very, uh, I don't want to say, I don't want to say heavy because it's not really heavy. It just has a very distinct flavor and you don't have to use a lot. At least I don't have to use a lot. Um, okay, there we go, got one more to get in there, just one more, this is just something new that I'm doing, I just wanted to test this out on these ribs, just like I said, I've been, uh, didn't want just regular barbecue ribs out of them, so, we're going to let these cook on each side for about five minutes. We're going to turn them over. And we're going to cook them, we're going to cook them on, on the sides. <clears throat> As you can see the way this wok is made, I'm using the sides of the wok to go ahead and get them fried up. So we're going to do them just like so. And not only am I going to do that. <clears throat> I want to capture all of this flavor. All of the flavor. I just want to capture every bit of flavor. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and cover them. Like so. And let them, because as they're doing that, um, braising and getting the brown on, they're also cooking because I don't want to have to cook them too long. Okay? There we are. Our truffle braised berries. And I'm probably going to just do some um, broccoli. Steam some broccoli in this. We're not going to do a lot of great big old meal. Just some these ribs and some steamed broccoli.
Mmm, that smells so wonderful, y'all. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. So we're just going to let those cook for about five minutes, and then we'll come back, turn them over, and then let them finish off in the oven. Okay, I am going to make some, um, you know, beans and rice. First, of course, you know, I got to cook the rice first. And I'm going to season my water for the rice with a couple tablespoons of the chicken broth. Pour in the rice. When it gets about halfway done, I want to add those pinto beans to it. So we're going to have pinto beans and rice to go along with those ribs. Okay. I don't know if you all are having a God bless uh, Tuesday. Tell me. That storm is coming in, has been sort of raging all day um, in North Carolina. I think it's coming up, going up toward D.C. and up toward the Northeast for a little bit more water in there so it'll get done. So we've had some heavy wind and rain off and on all day, so we're going to see what tomorrow brings. Probably oh, should. Okay, so we're going to let that rice cook um, for about 10 minutes and then I'll go ahead and add, like I said, I'll add my beans to it and put some more seasoning. We'll have some good old pinto beans and rice. And over here, see how those ribs are just cooking? I'm going to take the lid off of them here shortly and pour the sauce on them and let them cook down and let that sauce glaze on them. Have it nice, it'll be so like sticky ribs, sticky ribs, y'all. Sticky ribs. I'm also going to pour some of that truffle oil into that rice. We're getting ready to have some good eats here. I'm thinking we're going to have some, especially these ribs. I want them falling off of the bone. These, this cookware is just not quite tender enough yet, so we got about another good. 45 minutes on these ribs. So we're just going to let them continue to cook down into that seasoning. And uh, we're just going to have a, something good to eat, y'all. Okay, see it made a nice, nice gravy like down in there. Okay, so we'll be back. Don't go in the I'm just talking. And there it is. See, they've rendered. Um, that much broth. I think I got my okay. That is some good, good eating. It smells so good, y'all. So we'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. Yeah, so he, he just, he just get, they just sound overbearing after a while, you know, it's just, it's like, boy, what, please, I mean, everything. Yeah, well, I forgot, what we, what kind of thing, what were we talking about? Oh, we were talking about the color purple. <clears throat> and um, I, I said, at least, oh, did you see the color purple? I said, Tanya and I went to see it, you know, whenever we are. Okay, we're back, y'all, and everything is just about ready. Those pinto beans and rice, and I went ahead and steamed some broccoli and just seasoned up with a little lemon pepper and some truffle oil, and there the other ribs are. And I'm going to go ahead, I drizzled these with a little bit of honey. So I'm going to pour, this is my um, George's barbecue sauce. It's really, really good. It has a little sweet twang to it, like what we like. It's not a real thick one. So all I'm going to do with this is just, I'm just going to get these real good like so. Put the lid back on for about another 10 minutes and let that barbecue sauce sort of glaze on. I can cook these fully on top of the stove for about, it'll be the better part of two hours now. It's not a lot of sauce, just enough to get them uh, going y'all. So there's our stove pot ribs, some good old pinto beans and rice, and of course this. Rocky. So we are just about ready to sit down here in about a few minutes as soon as I let these ribs uh, cook up for just about, just about another 10 minutes is all they need just for that sauce to steam on them real, real good. And we'll be ready to sit back, relax, and enjoy a good old Tuesday evening meal. 
Okay, so I had to uh, dip out for just a second there. But anyway, you know, the storms are raging up through North Carolina, all up that uh, eastern, eastern North Carolina. So uh, some of the storms set down over, over in Durham, our neighboring uh, cities, uh, or our up the road there. And of course, in Raleigh, they got hit pretty uh, bad. So let's pray for those individuals up in those areas that uh, they continue to weather the storm throughout the night. We have tornado watches out all the way down uh, the eastern seaboard and all the way up to D.C., all up in that area, uh, Maryland, uh, Delaware, all up in that area. So this storm is a big, wide one I'm gathering. So we've just been uh, watching it pretty much here in this area. I know I, I went out today and I'm telling you, the wind grabbed my umbrella and just chewed it up. So that wind was whipping pretty good even at 2 o'clock this afternoon. So if you don't have to be out in it, y'all, stay safe. Uh, listen to what you're being told about, you know, safety precautions. That wind is not playing. I don't know what uh, how, what the wind, uh, I think it was 30 miles an hour maybe when I was out there not knowing it was going to be like that. I had to, I, there was an error and I just needed to run. And I just ran out and did it and came out that umbrella because it was raining, y'all, and it just took a little umbrella. In fact, I had one of those big umbrellas, so that wind just, took that umbrella and chewed, pulled it inside out, bent it, chewed it up. It was just, it was, it was just amazing because it was blowing just that hard. So it was kind of a little touch and go there for a minute. So I'm just saying to you, uh, and I'm taking my own advice, don't go out if you don't have to, because the storm, you know, respect the storm. They are serious and they are deadly tonight because as I understand, one person did perish up in that, uh, Catawba County, I think it is, but just continue to pray throughout. We'll just pray for each other that we weather the storm and come through it okay. Thank y'all for stopping by while I fix this little bit of dinner, and praise the Lord. The lights didn't go out. 17,000 people, I think they said, in this area don't have lights, but praise the Lord. We have, we still have lights, so I went ahead and cooked our dinner and got my candles sitting out ready just in case anything goes down here tonight. If we lose any electricity. At least I got plenty, plenty of candles uh, to burn throughout the house. So I, I went ahead and lit up a few. So if you got candles, if you're in that storm area, go ahead and get your candles and your lighter out just in case. So you don't have to be trying to, uh, you know, find stuff in the dark. And just be careful, you know, um, we do storm watch whenever it comes through our area. We just sort of, you know, sort of stay up and sort of watch and listen to the trees sway and go. And thank God, uh, I don't have a lot of trees anymore, but my neighbors, some of my neighbors do so. Praise the Lord uh, for safety. Safety is of the Lord. And we're going to just pray without ceasing throughout this storm uh, time. So, anywho, y'all, do something kind for somebody. Pray without ceasing. And most of all, get in that kitchen get you something good to eat. So, until I decide to cook again, love you guys. Toodles. Toodles. That was Tansy. She hanging out. I she came to hang out with us through the storm, so we're going to be on storm watch here. I think we're under a tornado watch till 8 or so, so it's almost 8 now anyway. So anyhow, toodles again. Love you guys.